Good evening, gentlemen. Uh, I just had a link sent to me, so I'm going to probably keep this brief. It's not really a earth-shatteringly important story, but it's uh, amusing for several reasons. Tiger Woods proposes to ex-wife Ellen Nordgren, report says. Golf ace Tiger Woods is trying to convince ex-Ellen Nordgren to marry him again with a mega bucks prenup and an anti-cheating clause. The National Enquirer reports the shame sportsman who was exposed for his serial cheating behind Ellen's back in 2009 is desperate to win her back, the magazine claims, offered a $200 million prenup to the stunning Swede, and she is said to be considering the proposal, but only if he concludes a $350 million anti-cheating clause. Ellen, 33, who had children, Samantha, 5, and 3-year-old Charlie with the ace, won a $110 million settlement when she divorced Woods. <laughs> now, she said to feel the New Deal, worth more than half of Woods' $600 million, would be enough to keep him from cheating again. The couple were divorced in 2010 after it was revealed Woods cheated on Ellen with a long, and that's how it's written, long list of women. Ellen is currently rebuilding a $12 million estate in North Palm Beach in Florida to create her dream home. She has dated several men, including a wealthy uh, financier, but the Inquirer claims Woods got down on one knee to pop the question at Christmas and even presented Ellen with a ring. Ah, well, um, well, gentlemen, this is the, the old one of well, what could only be described as the ultimate alpha male, right? I mean, the, the pinnacle of success in his respective field of golf. And here he is dropping down on one knee and reproposing to a woman. And I don't, I don't, uh, I don't approve of his cheating. I, in my life, have never cheated. I don't think it's a good idea to cheat. But uh, it's all about the money, isn't it? Uh, Two hundred million dollar prenup wasn't the hundred and ten million dollars that she never had to work for that she didn't have to do anything for enough. I mean. Uh, it's it's incredible, um, and well, it's kind of it, I don't even know what to say about this. It's just uh, you know these the, these guys are the supposed alpha males of society. Well, among at least some sports stars, and Tiger Woods certainly is considered one of them. But uh, I mean, they're just like every other guy, really. They happen to be very successful. The only difference between Tiger Woods and you and me and the rest of us is that he has some sort of in genetic inborn talent for golf, which, I mean, exceeds everyone else's in the world, apparently. That's it. Uh, he's still a guy who is uh, dependent on, on women who, I mean, he's begging his ex-wife to take him back, and she's considering it, and only, what is it, a total of $200 million prenup, $300 million anti-cheating, I mean, uh, 550 uh, I mean would she get then 550 million dollars if uh, if you cheat I mean I just don't know what this guy, this guy is thinking what why does he need to be get together with this woman you know he sired his children he's propagated his DNA I don't know who cares uh, it's no. uh, but uh, yeah this is how this is how the, the cream of the crop uh, behaves apparently Tiger Woods as an example all of these guys, are, it's it's all the same. Uh, there's nothing special about these men, and certainly nothing special about the women. I mean, look, she's uh, as hypergamous as it comes. Hey, I'll marry you again, but only if you give me a $350 million anti-cheating clause. Uh, so, I mean, like I said before, I mean, she had like 100... Hey, what if you had $110 million? I wouldn't be worrying about money too much anymore. I'd probably just invest in a few things that interest accrue. I mean, uh, what did she do for it? Well, she fucked Tiger Woods and was married to him. And she looked pretty decent. Not a whole lot. Anyway, stupid story, but it just goes to show that uh, the cream of the crop is just like uh, most men. Nothing special, and his wife is, well, uh, just as hypergamous as everyone else. You know, this is uh, business as usual, gentlemen. Business as usual. Nothing special here. Nothing even really to be seen. Uh, so, whatever. I don't even know why I'm covering this. Just uh, a bit depressing. Just 
pathetic actually it's just pathetic anyway take care